Hey love, so today I'm filming my go-to fall makeup look and yeah, it's just pretty much simple. It's just like a slight smoky eye. Slight. It, well, it's a matte smoky eye. And yeah, it's just pretty, pretty, I don't know. I like to glow all year round, so yeah, I'm glowing. I'm, I'm glowing. But anyway, just keep on watching to see how I got this look. Bye. I'm tired. I'm so tired. Why am I doing this? It's like, it's 7.24 and I woke up at 6.30 in the morning. Just so that I could shower and like relax and eat breakfast and film this video for you guys. But okay, so the first thing I started off with is my eyebrows, clearly. And then I went and primed my face using the Smashbox Primer Water and my Black Opal True Color Perfecting Primer. So they both just look like this. And now I'm going to clean up my brows. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer in the color 40 medium and it just looks like this. And I do bring it down just a little bit to prime my eyes. Okay, so now to start off with my foundation, I'm going to be taking the Black Opal's um, Stick Foundation in the color Beautifully, Beautifully Bronze, and I'm just going to contour my face. And I am going to be taking the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation and the Milani Conceal and Perfect and I'm just going to be mixing them together. To start off, I'm going to set my eyes using Smarty Pants. Yeah, Smarty Pants from the Tartlet and Boom palette. And for basically my transition color, I'm going to be taking Rebel and I'm just going to be putting this all over the crease and a little bit above it. So bringing it close to like where my highlight of my brow bone is supposed to be. Now to deepen up my crease, I'm going to be taking Leader and mixing it with Activist. It's going to For my lid, I'm going to be taking Flower Child and Charmer and mixing that together and just tapping that onto my lid. because putting that on my lid, it did kind of drown it out. So I'm just going to literally be focusing on the outer corner this time. And always go back and blend everything out. 
Okay, so to line my eyes, I'm going to be using the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. For mascara, I'm using the L'Oreal Luminous Carbon Black. Today I'm going to be using my Coda Mink Lashes in the Style Angel. Okay, so now that the eyes are done, I'm going to move into concealer and I'm using my Kat Von D Locket Concealer and it's the regular one. I have not tried the new cream concealer, although I really want to. But okay, so I'm going to be mixing Deep 34 and Medium 28 to get my highlight color. translucent setting powder. Okay, so as that is baking, I'm going to go in with my contour and I'm using the MAC Blunt, I'm using MAC Blunt and I'm just going to contour my face. Well, not contour my face, but set where I had already contoured. I don't like to bake too long, so I am going to be dusting this off as well as setting the rest of my face just with a normal um, face powder for my complexion. glow. I know some people like to actually put this underneath everything but I actually kind of find that it just looks better and sets better when I put my strobe cream over everything. So yes I still have my sample size from like last year. I don't really use it that often but I'm just going to be putting this on my highlight areas. I do feel that you could use the strobe cream as a highlighter by itself, but I would do that only if I was wearing a little bit less makeup. I am going to be putting on just a little bit of blush. I'm using the MAC blush in Trace 
gold. Before I go into highlight, I'm just going to set my face one more time using the primer water. Not only does doing that like make your highlight pop a little bit more, but it pretty much just sets everything else and makes it more like loose and natural on your face. So to highlight, first I'm going to go in with MAC Gold Deposit. And to go over that, I'm going to be using my Becca Champagne Prop. I'm actually so sad it broke the other day. Yeah. This is like the second makeup item I've broken in life. Actually, third. And the first one wasn't even my fault. Like, I don't get it. I'm always so careful. I don't get why this broke. But anyway, I'm going to still use it though. <laughs> Pretty much for my T-zone, I'm going to be taking a smaller brush, it's just a smudger brush, so it says, and I am going to put it in, focus it on the bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose, as well as highlight my inner corner. So also for my eyes, I am going to go back in with Leader and a little tiny bit of Activist and I'm just going to smoke out my lower lash line. So today I'm going to be using my MAC Cork Lip Liner and my ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip liquid lipstick yeah that's what it is and it's in the color mess around Okay, so this is what I forgot. Um, I like to brighten my eyes, use the MAC Chromographic Eye Pencil, I guess. It's actually discontinued, which I wish it wasn't, but it's in the shade NC42 slash NW35. Okay guys, so that is all for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.